Hello all, Bandana Grandma here, and I'm just going to try and pull you up on my Kindle so I can have access to the chat. Yeah. So let's see if the Kindle will pull this up. I have a few things going on here at the homestead that I wanted to share with you. Um, I'm waiting for an important phone call. But it, they told me to call back in 20 minutes, and it's been over an hour, so I decided to go ahead with the live stream. And if the phone call comes in, I'll have to take it. But meanwhile, let me see if I can get you up here. Hmm. Darn, not yet. Well, I guess I'll just start and see what happens. Now, some of you know I had an injury. I uh, was, I had a French, French press carafe. You've seen me use that in my videos sometimes. And it broke, and I was going to throw it away. And I didn't want the trash men getting cut <laughs> on the little chunk that was out of the lip of the carafe so I thought if I throw it into my trash um, basket hard it'll break at the bottom into little pieces and I can wrap all the trash bag around it and put it out and it'll be safe. Well something happened between me tossing it and it hitting the bottom. I think my hand hit the side of the, hit the top of it so the thing shattered in my hand instead of when it hit the bottom. And I cut my hand um, in a few places, but mostly this ring finger, um, right below the main joint there. I, um, I think it went right to the bone, the, the glass that went into it, and it, it has cut my tendon. So all my fingers will bend. This one will not bend at all. So in fact, if I try, it really hurts. So um, I've got to go in and have surgery done on it to read to get that tendon put back together. It was dumb, dumb mistake. But that's how these things happen, being dumb. So that's that's what happened with my hand and it's really slowed me down here because I can't do a whole lot, um, at least until I, and then I think after I get it fixed, I think it takes quite a while for it to regenerate or heal or whatever. I'll know more today. If I indeed get the call from the doctor, he's supposed to be calling me to uh, schedule the surgery, which may indeed be today. They say you got to do it quickly for the tendon to heal correctly. So probably be today or tomorrow. Just waiting on that phone call. So give me a moment so I can figure out what I need to do. I'm trying to remember what Kitty told me, how to get all the way out and in again so I can pull up the chat on my Kindle. So this is going to be boring for a couple of minutes while I look that up. Then I'm going to, if it doesn't start raining, it's overcast here, I'm going to take you outside and show you what's going on with the garden. But first, I want to see the chat. All right. How, pull up from, no, it's pull down from the top, I think. Yay, okay. Settings. I think this is what I got to do. And I think I want applications. Manage all applications. I think I want that. And then I want YouTube. I don't know which one. I got a YouTube player. I've got a one tube for YouTube and a V tube player for YouTube and a U player for YouTube. I have no idea which one I'm supposed to pick. One tube for YouTube? Let's try it. Four stop. All right. I think I'm supposed to make it stop. Let's say. Okay, and then I can sign in new, and I should be able to see this live stream. I hope. Okay, so 
Now I think I gotta go to home, pick my browser. The kitty's here, I hope she's proud of me. I'm trying to remember. All right, search the web. Search the web there. Y O U T U B E dot com. YouTube dot com. Search. Uh, well, come on already. Search. YouTube dot com. YouTube.com. All right, it's going. Read. Okay, this looks promising. And there it is. Thank you, Kitty. It worked again. <laughs> Let me pull it up. Take a second for it to respond. It's coming. And there's the chat. Okay, let me get to the top so I can see all who's here. Allison, okay. T. Teresa, Suburban Hillbilly. All right, let me make it big so I can read it. Okay, good morning, good morning. Purple is your color. Good thing, because I don't have any makeup on. I can't do anything. Purple is your color. Thank you, Allison. All things good. Claire. Yeah, I don't have much time because 10, 11. I want to be at the uh, Brad's devotional at 10, 30. Okay. Yeah, my poor hand. It hurts. <laughs> How was celebrating your daughter's birthday? How is the carrot cake? Carrot cake was pretty good. Yeah, it came out pretty good. And we had a nice birthday celebration with most of the family here for it. Lone Star, My Grace. Morning, good morning. All things good. All right. Good. We got you all here. Now... To update, for those who came in late, I had a hand injury. I cut it with a gl broken glass carafe to my um, French press, and it cut through to the tendon, and I can't move my finger, so i got to have surgery. And that might be today or tomorrow. I'm waiting for a phone call from the doc, which I will take if it rings. And meanwhile... Oh, Brenda Collins, when I woke up this morning, I was wondering if I dreamed you hurt your hand. I'm sorry it wasn't a dream. Yeah, it was a nightmare. <laughs> okay. Simply Seven. Hello. All right, enough of this bad news. Let me take you out and show you what's going on in the garden. Um, this is going to be tricky with one hand. And I'm thinking I'm going to need to take the phone. I don't have a pocket. So I'm just going to put the phone near the door and that way ow, that way I can um, just run to it if it rings. Let me get my shoes on. Okay. Out we go to the garden. Now, first thing I'm going to show you, and let me turn, let me put the phone down here. Let's see if I can turn this camera around. There. All right. These are the plants that are supposed to be planted. But first we had too much rain and then yesterday when I was going to do it, I had the injury. So I've got my tomato plants, Mother's Day flowers, more tomato plants, And pepper plants over here. All these have to get put in to the earth. But let me show you what we got prepared. 
First of all, that mess, you remember the poison ivy all over that fence? Well, that's what I did for the time being because I can't cut it off and I want to work around my garden without it getting me. So I just covered it with the black plastic. I was hoping the heat might kill it. But that looks pretty awful, but that's what I'm doing for now. Here's my lettuce. Totally big enough for salads now. I've got red wing lettuce. And I've got there's, uh, bib lettuce. And uh, what's that called? Um, crunch. Butter crunch lettuce. And you can see my strawberries are producing. I need to pick some of those today. And my husband helped me put up this cattle panel. I'm going to put my tomatoes against there. Some of my tomatoes I'm going to tie onto that cattle panel. And my onions, I need to get them picked and frozen. And I think I'm going to dehydrate some and try to make onion powder. Because so I've got quite a few. In the back, I think the ones with the balls on top, they might be leeks or candy onions. I'm really not sure. And my husband helped me put up this cattle panel into a dome shape and we're going to plant my melons and cucumbers on that. Where I say, he doesn't garden. It'll be me. And under it I have my cool weather crops. Cauliflower, broccoli, and kale. They're all coming up good now. You remember me planting those. Now I can't see your chat till I go back to the porch. Alright, this bed I haven't planted yet. I'm going to take that cattle panel and put it down the middle and do some more peppers and tomatoes there. Those are all raspberries. These are carrots and I'm letting them go to seed. They were in here all winter so I'm letting them go to seed so I can have my own carrot seed. All right, this is my peach tree and I'll show you my peaches now. There's some peaches in here. This, I only planted this two springs ago. There's some more over here, you can see. A bunch more over here. So the peach tree's doing good. And I'll it. Let's see. Ow. Oh, I tried to use my hand and I shouldn't have. My camera's trying to fall out of my tripod. Wait a minute. Oh, okay, uh, peach tree is that tall. <laughs> it's probably, let's see, six, seven, eight, nine feet tall, I think. And this is a plant that tastes like oysters. And I never can remember the name of it until after I shut the camera off. But it's a faux oyster plant. You eat the roots, it tastes like oysters. And that's the red leaf sorrel there. And up here is rhubarb. That's rhubarb. And here's my lavender. It's starting to get its flowers on it. They're not purple yet, but they're forming, all my lavender flowers. And back in that corner is loads of comfrey. I already picked a bunch and put it in my compost. And I hope to make some comfrey poultice. I wonder if that would help my finger. That's a little apple tree. That's another raspberry. That's my cherry tree. This is a plum tree. We're in the forest now. I put netting on my nectarine. It's already started its fruit drop. See all the fruit down there? But there was lots of fruit, so hopefully it's going to hang on to enough. And I have nectarines growing on here. And this is my Asian pear. The pears are getting bigger. There's quite a few on the Asian pear. The wisteria never got any flowers. It's all greening out now. I really think I'm going to cut it down. It's just too invasive and it's not giving me enough happiness. <laughs> I'd rather have a fruit tree. And this is a plum. It's only 
I only had a couple of plums on it. <coughs> Oops, sorry. I just can't control this thing. And there's a little plum down there. I think I got two or three plums on it. Again, it's young. This apricot never got any. <coughs> and then we're back around to my gala apple. And that didn't do as well as I hoped. It's only got one or two little bitty apples starting on it. <coughs> I'm sorry, I got a scratch. So, and my fig is, I'm not going to go over, well, yeah, I will. All right, over here is my fig. No fruit, but the leaves are getting bigger. So this is my fig. And over here, my boysenberries, and they're starting to form. There are a lot of boysenberries here. And this is my goji berry. And I've never gotten a flower, never gotten any fruit. It's been here two years. I don't know if I just got to cut it back or what. But nothing happening with that. So, back to the porch so I can see your comments. My hydrangeas are greening out. No buds yet. I've got some other flowers here starting. My bleeding heart has done its thing and all the bleeding heart flowers are gone. So the hydrangeas will be coming soon. See if I can get back on the porch here. Sorry for the view you're getting. <sighs> All right. Turn this back around. Sit myself down. And check your comments. Okay, make it big. Let's see where I left off. Huh. Okay, I got your comments back up. Glad to see you chatting among yourselves. Thank you for the prayers, everyone. Yeah, I just I just want that tendon to reattach so my finger will work again and I'll have all the feeling and everything. I don't think it hit I don't know if the I'm feeling it my feeling is in it now, so I think it's gonna be alright with that. Good morning, Green Gables. <laughs> Wish we could grow cherries here. I haven't gotten a lot of cherries on that tree. Um, it always produces some, but I think it's only got like 50 on it now. It um, is only five or six years old, so maybe next year it'll get me a, a better har give me a better harvest. I'm only feeding it organic stuff. I probably should read up on more. Now that I'm growing a whole lot more um, comfrey, Maybe if I drop a whole lot more comfrey around it and mash up the comfrey into a, a comfrey tea and put it in my compost so when I add the compost around the trees, maybe that will help it a lot. What tastes like oysters? Yeah, um, uh-oh, it's stuck. I can't, there we go. Uh, praying your hands, stuck. Jonathan. Huh. Okay, I lost the comment. I wish you were close so you could plant for me two wholesome roots. I need, I need a, what do you call those, those, uh, those people that come and work on your place? Um, I've heard people talk about them on their live streams. 
<laughs> Garden looks great, Laura Ann says. Well, thank you. It's coming along. Thank you, Lone Star. It's just me. Oh, that might be the doctor. Excuse me just a minute. Hello? Oh, hi, George, my daughter. Hi, hon. I'm waiting for the call from the doctor. Um, they told me they'd call back in half an hour, and that was like an hour and a half ago. So I don't know if I'm going to be scheduled for today or tomorrow or what. And, and Heidi said she could take me. Yeah, I don't want to put you in a bind if you're at work and have to get time off and everything. She's off today. She had a busy schedule, but she said she'd do it. All right, sweetheart. All right. Thank you. All right, honey. Thanks for calling. Yep. Bye-bye. <clears throat> trying to get my ride set so I can get to the hospital. My husband wanted to take me, but um, he is a physical education teacher, and today is their field day, and he's in charge of the whole thing, so he really couldn't get away. So uh, one of my daughters is going to try to take me. Okay, back to the comments. Salsify, that's it, thank you. Yeah, Salsify is the name of the uh, the oyster plant. I never can remember it. <laughs> How do you get rid of squirrels? I got lots of squirrels, so I can't tell you. I'm, I'm gonna get more um, netting for all my fruit trees. Let me see if I can turn this down so it never did play the video for me on this before, and now it is. <clears throat> Fortune Garden looks really nice. Fortune's come a long way. It's not done. I've got a lot of plans for it to make it pretty. Now it's just, you know, a lot freer, freed up than it was because I got rid of all the junk. Um, we're going to move some furniture around, get rid of those baskets, and get rid of a couple cabinets, and uh, set up the couch differently, and set the TV up differently. And, uh, then hang some other curtains here, and I think it'll look real nice when I'm done, but not there yet. Yeah. Yes, I do enjoy sitting out here, Laura, and um, I have my, my little napping bed over there, and I, I love taking naps out here on the porch. <laughs> Thank you, Claire, hun. I think you should call the doctor back now. Maybe I will after devo well, maybe I'll do it before devotions. <clears throat> devotions are at ten thirty though. Yeah. Sue Wilson, that looks really it hurts. It really hurts. If I leave it just like this and don't try and use it and don't try to bend the finger or anything, it's like a four to five. You know, it's tolerable. But if I try and don't want to do that, it really hurts. <laughs> <clears throat> And I have a pretty good pain tolerance. So. Alright. I just wanted to catch you all up on that. Because people were asking what happened to my hand. Well, that was it. And for those who came in late, I was being stupid. And I had a broken glass carafe for my French press. And I was trying to smash it the rest of the way by throwing it to the bottom of my kitchen trash can with that had like an empty bag in it and before it left my hand it hit the side of the thing and smashed in my hand and really did a number on my ring finger and cut through to the tendon so now I gotta have surgery to get that tendon repaired so that's what happened being damn it being stupid I was I was trying to save the trash bin from getting cut on the chunk that was out of the carafe. I thought if I broke it in little pieces and then wrapped it in the plastic, nobody would get cut. <laughs> okay, that worked out well, right? <laughs> so, thanks for stopping by. I'm going to go in and uh, call my doctor back and see if they just forgot about me. And then I'm going to get on uh, the devotions with Big Family Devotions and uh, see whoever goes there on that. So I'll live stream again and catch you up when I can. I don't know what I'm going to try and plant my tomato plants maybe tomorrow or the next day or 
the next day. They got to get in the ground. So we'll see. Maybe my daughters will come around. They've got, they work, you know, it's difficult for them to find time. They're also busy. And it's mom's thing. The gardening's mom's thing, you know. And they're happy to help when they can, but they can't always do it. So thanks for coming by, and I'll catch you up next time. See you then.